England play Ukraine and we hear from Hodgson and Stevie G ahead of the big clash. Spain and Italy are the latest two sides to make the quarterfinals. Look out Ukraine, Wayne Rooney is about to be let off the leash. Arr. We speak to David Beckham on England's chances, plus Kev Pex, his winners for tonight's games. I'm Layla and you're watching The Goal Line. They arrived at Euro 2012 without the usual level of high expectation, but a point from their final game against Ukraine will see England qualify for the quarter-finals. We caught up with Roy Hodgson and skipper Steven Gerrard to see what they had to say ahead of the crunch game. Expectations are always going to be what international football is about, so I think we've got to be happy that the expectations have risen and that people now are believing we can go a bit further than maybe they believed when we started the competition. We're enjoying it. Because we're playing well on, it's important that we try and build on the platform we've set for ourselves. The team's doing really well, but there's a lot of hard work ahead. We've already seen some very, very good teams go out of this competition, but at least I think we feel now that we've, we've given ourselves a chance, as you rightly say, and all of us are very determined to do everything in our power to take that chance. Two players who can be pleased with their efforts so far are Andy Carroll and Danny Welbeck, and one of them is about to get a surprise reward from Uncle Roy for scoring against Sweden, the chop. That's because the most famous Sweden football is back, not from a career-threatening injury or a mission behind enemy lines, but from a two-match ban for kicking out against Montenegro. Having served his time, manager Roy Hodgson is eager to let Wayne Rooney, his star prize, get a taste of the action against Ukraine tonight. And the man himself is chomping at the bit to run onto the pitch this evening. No, I think, first of all, it's great for the, for the team. Uh, we've got forward scoring goals and, and, you know, the forwards have done well in the games. And, you know, it's, um, it's great for me as well. It's great competition and, you know, you, know you need to, to be at your best to, to get in the team. And now, obviously, I'm available to play, so I'm excited. In tonight's other game, France only need to draw to qualify for the quarter-finals. Their opponent, Sweden, have already been knocked out of the competition, but that hasn't discouraged this lot. There are some 20,000 Swedish fans in Kiev, and most of them can be found here, on an island on the Denepa River, where they have set up Camp Sweden. The Swedes may be out, but 2008 champions Spain and Italy are still going strong in this year's finals. Italy had a straightforward 2-0 win over Group C, whipping Boys Island with Mario Balotelli scoring the second. In the other game, Spain left it late to grab their winner against Croatia, but the 1-0 win means they end up as Group C winners. I think we better check in with Kev to see who's coming out on top tonight. Well, here comes Kev, the psychic chick in the last round of matches in Group D. England against the co-host Ukraine, and it is victory for England. Joy for Roy Hodgson side here. Kev in no doubt. Yeah, the game uh, in Group D. France against Sweden. France in front, but it's a leveller for the Swedes. This one is going to finish all square. France getting off to a fine start, but what a fight back. A victory for England against Ukraine. France against Sweden will finish as a draw, according to Kev. From golden eggs to golden balls now, and England's most capped player is enjoying watching his old team play at the Euros. And it sounds like he's expecting to be watching a lot more of them in the coming weeks. You know, looking at uh, who's left in the competition, if, if we can get a good result now against uh, Ukraine and then push forward, I don't see why we can't go all the way. I mean, it's exciting to watch, it's exciting to see an England team like that um, with, with obviously so many good players in it and obviously Wayne coming back into the mix as well, it uh, pushes us even more forward. And finally, Germany is showing everyone how it's done on the pitch, but off it, the skills of their supporters leave a little bit to be desired, as this fan is about to find out. Well, that's all for me today, but I'm back Thursday. We'll see you then.